So the first thing that we do is sand the piece, which is really not the most fun part of the job, but it's made easier with this orbital router. Um, once we've sanded, given it a light sand down, we can then stick our pre-printed lettering over the top. I'm using a nice wide 50 mil or two inch um, sellotape for this. Basically, you just want to put plenty on. I'm doing like a, a half overlap on the sellotape because we need to make sure that that lettering isn't going to move when we put our router bit on it. Um, also, we need to make sure that it's nice and smooth. We've got no creases on there because the smoother the surface, the easier that the router is going to move on there. So make sure you get rid of all those air bubbles and make it nice and pretty like that. Next up, make sure that you do a couple of test cuts on a scrap piece of wood to make sure that you've got the depth correct. That's very important. Now you're just gonna watch me router from above. Now this is more interesting. You're seeing it how I see it while I'm routing the piece. Obviously, this is four times the speed that I actually travel at, but you get the idea. I'm pretty sure that nobody wants to watch it at real time because it would be a 20 minute video. Now next up, we're going to put a nice little trim edge on this sign. I haven't recorded me painting the letters, but you should be able to manage that yourself without watching a video on how to paint letters. As you can probably see from the video, I haven't tried to keep it neat. I've been pretty slapdash with my painting. And that's just simply because once we've done all of this edge banding, we're then gonna get the sander back out and give it a nice quick sand to get rid of all that excess paint. And there we have a nice pretty sign with a fancy edge all the way around it. Just gotta give it a quick rub, make sure it feels nice. There it is. Now we're gonna sand off all that excess paint from around the letters and we're gonna make it look real pretty shouldn't take too long to sand down i normally use a 200 grit sand paper in my orbital sander to get rid of all the excess paint and then i go over it with a 400 grit before i varnish the piece and we don't need to watch me sanding the whole piece And there it is, all finished up, stained, sanded. That's it. I use a dark wood stain for this. This is elm wood. Um, and I think it really makes the grain pop. But you let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.